Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here with my review for Black Widow. As the title says, there will be spoilers in the second half of this review, but of course, I will let you guys know when we get to that. I do not have a Black Widow shirt, so I just went with another Spider-based character, naturally. I like the movie. First off, I did see it in theaters because I was not going to spend $30 to see it on TV. Um, it's just ridiculous. I'm like, I, could, I think I spent like $12 to go see it. I was like, including my... I probably spent less than that, actually. Because fortunately, I had like that one free ticket left from the olden days of going to the movies all the time. Um, but it was a good movie to see. It was definitely like a, a movie worth seeing in theaters for sure. This was not like... I didn't see Mulan because that, that would have been dumb. But everybody said it was gonna, it was meh, you know, and it wasn't as spectacular and everything as the original animation, which, you know, it's hard to do that in live action. But in general, people were just like, even in the limits of live action, not that great. This, however, was amazing. Like, the action in this was super crazy, and it was definitely like, especially the end. The ending was, you know, we'll get to that in spoilers for sure, but one of those scenes is from the trailer, like, the scene where they're falling, that's, that's in-game stuff, you know, like, that, that's end of the movie type stuff, and it was like, yeah, yeah, this was, it was literally formatted for IMAX, that was actually in the credits, and I was like, oh, no wonder they, like, yeah, that, this was definitely a see it in the theaters movie experience, so, glad I got to see it, I definitely enjoyed it, I thought it was a really good film, uh, first off, it was cool to see Black Widow get her own movie. I thought that was actually pretty cool. And like a lot of people, it was just like, it's weird that they did it after. You know, it's weird that they literally kill the character off and then they do it. And it's super weird because this does lead into the next movie. So it was just weird that it was like, man, what would it have been like if we actually got to see that? Because it would have endeared us more to the character. That's why I'm, I'm kind of curious because I know that they had to have had that planned out, you know, for a, a little, a decent chunk of time at the very least. So it's just like, they really should have done it beforehand just to kind of, you know, endear us more to Black Widow. Because, admittedly, Black Widow was Black Widow. Like, she didn't have anything. She was in the same vein as Hawkeye. Um, who actually, well, yeah, he got more. He got more before she did. Because even that opening scene uh, in Endgame is honestly one of my favorite moments in all of the MCU. Because, like, as soon as that movie started with him, I was like, this is effed up. Like, as soon as it started, I still remember being in the theater and that movie started and it just opened with him and his daughter and I heard somebody go, ah, and I was like, this is an amazing, as soon as it did that, I was like, this movie is gonna be good. And it was just, it's just such a good opening and it was just, it was so effed up, but I, that opening period, just that cold open, I love that opening for that movie. And that in itself was more than I think we ever got for Black Widow. Technically, she definitely got more screen time throughout the MCU. Like, she shows up in Iron Man 2. Like, she's been in the MCU for a long time. We've seen a lot of her. And, you know, like, she's in, the, she's basically, like, one-third of um, Captain America Winter Soldier. So it's not like she hasn't been in the MCU. But I've never been like, man, that was a good story for Black Widow. Like, she, it's, she's just cool in it. And that was always it to me. I never felt, like, attached to her. And I think the closest we came probably was Endgame because of this, the emotional stuff that happened there. And, like, partly in um, Age of Ultron because of what happened with her, you know, kind of knowing everything about Clint's family and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's that's kind of cool that she really is that close to them. That they literally, um, like, named their, their child after her. And I was like, okay, like, that, that little moment was probably the only other time where I was like, huh, that's kind of cool. Like, she's really, like, that close with them. Like, it just, it just kind of added to her character. But this movie is definitely what she needed. Like, this was a really good, like, solo film. Too bad she ain't getting another one. <laughs> but it was a good one to have. It was definitely in the same vein as the Captain America Winter Soldier stuff, for sure. They went full spy with it, because it's like, that's her thing. It starts off with her being on the run, so I love that we actually got to see, um, in, it was, I think it was, yeah, it was in between Civil War and Infinity War. And that was super cool, and I, I really enjoyed that. Once again, I don't understand why they wouldn't have just put that in there, but it's super weird. It, it's just weird, they, they, for whatever reason, they didn't do it. It is what it is, Ant-Man got two movies, but it is what it is. It's just super weird to see it. And I'm like, this movie's definitely better than it. I, not that I hate the Ant-Man movies or anything, but i definitely rewatch this before I would rewatch, you know, Ant-Man 1 or 2. I, I like the second one more than the first one, personally, but i definitely rewatch this movie over either of those, you know, just from personal preference. So I think it has a comedy. You know, maybe not as much as the Ant-Man films, because, of course, those are, like, the more on the comedy side, getting into, like, Guardians of the Galaxy. But it has enough comedy. I really enjoy it specifically from Red Guardian. Um, it has, for sure, it has great action. Like, some of the actual combat in this was really good and also really crazy. Like, the first big fight in this movie um, that Natasha has, I was like, are we sure 
this whole time that she hasn't actually been a superhuman because she gets tossed like the amount of times they had to cg this woman getting like super kicked and she's just like hitting a table or getting kicked into a car or like hitting a chair or falling off of something i'm like are they sure that she wasn't superhuman like this whole time like just a, a tiny bit of the serum you know like from that kiss with Captain America when they had to like do the fake kiss or something like are we sure that that didn't like kind of transfer to her like a little bit because she was getting kicked so hard I'm like that that doesn't work like you can't just do I don't care if you got training you just got super kicked and I'll get into that into some of the specifics because she takes a kick in the beginning of the, early on in the movie where I was like she's out that's it that's good. you know like she didn't die from the kick but I was like she's not just like ah she's she's effed up she's a little effed up but We'll get to that in spoilers. But that does lead to Taskmaster. Taskmaster, not as cool as Taskmaster could be. I was hoping that we would get to see it. Really, so for anyone who doesn't really know Taskmaster, he doesn't show up much. Like, Admittedly, he doesn't show up too often. Oddly enough, the last game that he showed up in was in the Avengers game where you actually fight against him utilizing Black Widow, oddly enough. And he's way cooler in that game and also in the spider-man game where he shows up or in anything else he's shown up in because in this he, he does like a couple of things the first fight was cool i was like okay that was cool that was a great first start to see taskmaster the character who can do anything that any other superhero can do minus actual superpowers but there is you know like enhanced strength in there as well so the possibilities were like limitless and they really fell short with that and i was like it doesn't suck but compared to what it could be it, it definitely does like for the movie it's okay it's very very just okay because the action that we have is cool to look at but it's so minuscule compared to what it should have been for the person that's tasked is like no pun intended but tasked is like the main villain of this film they don't do like you this is a dude who can do anything like he takes a shield around just to mimic captain america and that's, that's like the starting point is like Captain America is like, okay, so you can throw a shield. And then he's whipping out Black Panther moves and like he can dodge spider like anyone can lose to Taskmaster except for Deadpool because he's so crazy. Taskmaster cannot follow his moves because there's no actual pattern. That's literally it. Deadpool. That's how crazy he is. He can fight Taskmaster. Anyone else, Shang-Chi could not fight Taskmaster and it'd just be like, ah, no big deal. He beat him. Like it would be tough. And Taskmaster was not that in this. Had some great moments. Great first fight. Uh, the scene from the trailer where, you know, like, he's coming out, he has the bow and arrow and stuff. Like, that actual chase scene is actually pretty cool. Like, it, it gets pretty nuts in that APC. But they definitely did not do enough with that villain. Like, it, it's involved in the story and stuff. It's, like, the main villain of the movie, but not, like, the big bad villain of the movie. So that's how, it, you know, it's just, like, the subordinate. But Taskmaster could be, like, their own villain. Like, Taskmaster is just Taskmaster. Typically, gun for hire type situation. But could easily just be, like, well, that's Taskmaster. Hardcore, difficult to kill. Th that's all it had to be. It's Taskmaster. And instead, he's just, like, yeah, he's got some moments. Neat. And then that's it. There's some fights... The, the the best fights in the movie don't actually involve Taskmaster, which is not good. It's Taskmaster. But I don't want to spend my whole time harping on that, but that's really disappointing. I'm like, you know, I'm not like the biggest Taskmaster guy, but just because I like action. And this has good action. That's the funny thing. Like, the best action doesn't involve one of the best fighters in the Marvel Universe, even though that fighter is in this movie. It doesn't make sense. And I'm like, how'd they do all this amazing action that I totally love in the movie because the action is really good, and yet it doesn't actually involve the dude who's known for having like the hardest battles against superheroes it's super it's a really weird way to do that and like like downplay the ele you know the terror element like like taskmaster could have been like a terminator role like that's how good taskmaster is taskmaster and it starts off that way too that's why i was really happy i was like okay it's not you know taskmaster typically talks and this taskmaster does not um so it's, it's the classic like just quiet villain imposing stature he's walking up like he first comes out like the first steps in the actual suit and everything it's like they make these loud noises when the boots hit it's very dramatic and i was like okay over the top but i like it because you know if you've seen the costume it looks very mcu admittedly it looks very metallic and robotic and i was like okay is there's a person underneath it and i think the fact that it was more of like an actual metal helmet instead of the <laughs> it's basically like a skull mask uh in the comics i think that actually did help the imposing nature because i'll be honest as cool as it looks to have like the skull mask when it's done in 2d 
it does kind of just like uh, it does kind of just look like a skull mask. So they could have still done it in 3D and it would have looked great. But I was like, I think it does add to the imposing nature, um, going all the way down the suit. And also, he, he does not have the cape. He has like you know just has a hood. Uh, but I believe he does have a hood and a cape. They may have changed that as well. You know, it's, it's comic book costumes change. People die and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that that was definitely a disappointment. Where I was like, man, I, I wish we got to see more Taskmaster. Um, what we do see is good, but we definitely need it more. I hope they're like some deleted action scenes and stuff, but th that I guess doesn't matter at this point in the film. They didn't show enough. So that was unfortunate. Uh, oddly enough, that leads to Rachel Weiss's character. She wasn't in it as much as I would have liked either. Um, I thought that she would have a bigger role to play as the whole element, of course, is, um, you know, this, this family dynamic, which they talk a lot about and everything. They give some explanation as to how they were like a family and how they've been separated all this time and why they've been separated all this time i thought that was cool because it's definitely a big question when you have the story of a character that's been in uh, all these movies you know leading up to infinity war or you know even after at this point um considering this technically was made you know uh after endgame it's like well where have these people been what's been going on why hasn't she seen them with all this stuff they answer all those questions everything is kind of laid out and makes sense so i was definitely happy about that as far as the writing goes it's not like well, I still have to question this. Uh, there's some stuff that's dumb, which of course we're getting the spoilers, but that, you know, there's like, it's really, it's, it's, you know, I can just be honest. It's not a spoiler, but it's just the, um, the accent, her not having an accent is in no way, shape or form actually answered by this movie. Like the explanation they give is like, no, that doesn't work. That still don't work. So it, it was just kind of funny. It was like, that does not answer, that does not work. That's, that was like the one thing where I'm like, that doesn't work like you might think it does. It doesn't force you to tell, it doesn't, the movie's not like, this is why this works, her not having an accent. It, it doesn't force you to be like, this is the answer, but it's like, there's not really an answer. It's just like, well, that doesn't make any sense. If anything, she should have an accent. It's weird that she doesn't. Um, so that that's really like the only thing. Everything else though gets answered, you know, nice and cleanly, and you know everything is good. But I like all the other actors in it. You know, like I said, Rachel Weisz is good. She just wasn't in it as much as I would have hoped. Uh, David Harbour, he's definitely the comic relief of the film. I enjoyed him in it. Um, I want to say Yelena is the name of the character. I cannot remember the actual actress's name, but Yelena uh, Natasha's sister. She was great. I thought she was really cool. Like we get to see her story kind of play out as well, and they don't. You know, they work together and it's this relationship, of course, you know, why have they been separated? Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? All that stuff coming together, I was like, okay. I, I like how it comes to I like how it comes together. It it was well done. I like that their first interaction made a ton of sense where it was like, you know, we're two spies, it's been a long time. As spies, can I trust you? Like, I know we're sisters, but can I trust you? Do I not trust you? Like, you weren't supposed to be here, like, but I was here because you kind of sent this thing, but did you not send this thing? Like, there's, a, you know, it's the spy questions. So I like the way it was handled. I was like, all right, that was cool. It, it made sense. And then, of course, you get into even more crazy action, and it was done well. It, it was just done well. So I like the action. I like the way they handle uh, the family kind of coming together, them talking about it being a family and why they've been separated and their emotions from the you know their time of separation versus their time being together, why they separated, how long they've been separated, you know what to do going forward and things like that and obviously this being before infinity war and endgame they answer all those questions going into like well if they bonded again as a family why are they split up all this good stuff definitely makes sense so i like the way that was handled and overall i say it was definitely worth seeing i, I really enjoyed it, it you know it's, actually it was the second movie that's why I, I saw a quiet place part two the day before i got to see two movies in a row in the theaters and i was like this feels nice so it was definitely a great movie to see in theaters so i highly recommend it um I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah. Taskmaster, not a, the I should say this before we get into spoilers. Uh Big Bad Villain was just okay. It was another thing where I was like, I feel like that kind of needed just a little bit more for me to enjoy it a little bit more because it was like, oh, they have an element there that makes sense. But I was like, it just wasn't enough, especially for a character we've never heard of. Like this is a guy that get gets technically introduced in this movie and it's just like Hmm. Yeah, it's a huge buildup. I know that technically he's the reason that Black Widow has been Black Widow. It's the reason that the whole family element, all this stuff happened. But this is a guy who's responsible for all these things, like you know, all this stuff that comes from um, Age of Ultron and everything, like the dark visions that everyone sees and Black Widow saw, like her being in the Red Room and all that stuff. This is the man that started it. He's the villain that created this hero. And it was just like, eh. You know, it was kind of like, he's just, he's literally the big bad villain. And he has, like, a cool moment, which I'll talk about in spoilers, but, like, 
kind of disappointing. So it would kind of suck that like Taskmaster, who was like the poster villain, didn't get enough screen time, and then the big bad villain, he got less time. It's not like the main guy got more time than Taskmaster, but the time that he got was like there are parts of this that are cool, but also like I just met you and I, I'm not like super tied to anything that is you, right? Despite everything that you've done that made this character that I like you're just you like she literally left this dude in the past a long time ago and she's coming back to finish the job pretty much and so i'm just like didn't know about you before i won't care about you after that's just how it felt like once it was done it was like it was done he was the villain and that, that was kind of it still a great movie highly recommend seeing it if you haven't already but getting into spoilers i'll make the spoilers quick um taskmaster doing that first kick when black widow got kicked into that car and she fell in the water i was like that kick was so hard, it should have dislocated her shoulder. Like, she got kicked into a car and then, like, bounced off the car and kept going. Like, she didn't hit the car and then, like, tumble. She hit and just flung in midair. She spun in midair. That's how fast she was going when she hit that car. And she just swam away. No biggie. No problem. She fought her sister, which that was actually one of the parts I liked. I remember the first trailer came out when they fought. I was like, I know I'm going to like the action in this movie because they were like fighting for it. They were, it was funny. It was just a good funny fight, especially because they weren't, you know, she wasn't trying to kill her sister at least. And she's like, please stop. And she like hit her in the head with the plate. But like getting her, her getting flipped into the, um, into the door and then she got flipped onto like another table or something like that. I was like, she's getting tossed around like crazy. And she falls a lot in this movie. I was like, there's, there's, this doesn't make any sense. She should be dead. She should have been, okay. When they after they do all that and the woman drop down from the ceiling and they have that moment where they push off the pillar and the other black widow you know she's like you know i'm a uh, she got her hand it was so funny i know it was because she's mind control but it was like she's holding on to this woman's hand the only thing keeping her in the air and then it's like i gotta stab you and so she's trying to stab up and so of course she drops and so like she's gone but the pillar falls yelena she pops through the window natasha hits this she got hit so hard i'm like she might as well be in Spider-Man 3 right now. She should be laying right next to Harry Osborn, unconscious. A amnesia. That's what she should have right now. And not only that, she landed on her feet. Like, she was dropping left and right. And then she dropped down and was like, boom. Right on my legs. Are we sure she's not superhuman? At all. Because that don't work. That does not work like that. So, that was just funny to me. I'm like, she, th the stuff that she did... Was so and it's funny we've had a bunch of movies with her in it she does all this crazy stuff that's impossible and this movie just up the ante so much i was like everything she's done pales in comparison to her own film which makes sense it's her movie but i'm like she legit seems superhuman from the ridiculous stuff she's doing right now making like falling on her arm hitting she actually did hit her head if i'm not mistaken you know i don't remember every single hit but there were there was more than one and she still managed to drop down, land on her knees, and when she hit the water, boom, I'm good. Let me help you out. Like, she's not, no, that doesn't work. It does not work. But it was entertaining to see. So I liked all the action. Uh, Taskmaster kicked her so hard, she should have dislocated her arm. When she fell, she should have been knocked unconscious, period. That just, just crazy, just crazy. Um they should have died from the car crash too like that junk flipped and rolled like crazy and then it went down into the subway system I'm like they dead they died already and we're watching go like, half this movie is them as ghosts because they're dead they died they died right there but once again the action was good i enjoyed it um we get to see them you know kind of trick taskmaster and then they hide up in the thing and it's like oh yeah this is where me and clint head out so this was you know the budapest thing it was actually her seemingly killing um, the guy who leads the Red Room. Obviously, I don't remember this dude's name, but she killed him, seemingly. And also, his daughter was like, you know, that was my final thing to prove that I was turning to the side of good and working for S.H.I.E.L.D. And I was like, okay. Um, he should be dead. Like, she like she was super confident. She was wrong. But her confidence, based on that flashback I saw, even before that, when she described it, when she was like, yeah, we dropped, like, five stories on the dude or whatever i was like okay you know let, let's see how it plays out and then they drop five stories on this dude who's on like the second or third floor with his daughter who should be crushed oh, both of them there is no like once again just like them being flipped in that car they're ghosts because there's no reason that he should have lived or his daughter should have lived they should, five stories 
it seemed like they you know they talked about having the bombs planted all around the building all this extra stuff to make sure it went off right and the two it just doesn't make sense that it did not make sense at all I'm like how the f does anyone get out of that situation it, it makes no sense whatsoever but apparently it was fine his daughter her face was all jacked up he seemed perfectly fine. He didn't say like, "Look at this scar you gave me." He didn't even have like, "Look at look at this nick on the side of my lip." Like that was you. Nothing. He was fine. She was just all left up. She just got blasted. Like her face was just blown off. So she's like a robot now, and he's just he's just fine. He's just nothing. No no scars. No cuts. He doesn't have a line through his hair because that like a piece fell on his head. He got you know brain damage. Nothing. The dude was just like. Dang, she tried to drop a building on me. Dang, she got my daughter. Dang. That was it. He was fine. Like, it was super weird. Because I'm like, when they showed the flashback, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, it, it, wow. Just how. Just how. So, super crazy. Doesn't make any sense that either of those characters are alive. But she's all jacked up. He's totally fine. That makes it even less believable. He's like, so she was just closer because she was still at, at the corner of the building. Like, I don't know. It's weird. But she becomes Taskmaster. So we find out that the main villain's daughter is actually Taskmaster. Super cool introduction. Well, technically the introduction was weird. Because I thought, for a split second, I legit thought Taskmaster was just going to be like a robot that they made. Um, until, I think it was like the woman said something after they like put the chip in the back of her head. The Black Widow says something to Taskmaster. And I was like, okay, so I think this is the actual person. But I was like, for a split second, I was just like, is this actually a robot? Because I wasn't expecting like the chip in the back of the head thing where they literally like, here's a USB, which I don't know what they did. I thought that was going to be like an instant download of like, here's how to fight or, you know, here's this person you're fighting, which may have been what they did. Um, but I was just like, oh, I did that, that was just the weird introduction I wasn't expecting. And then the first official fight introduction was pretty good. Super surprise explosion. I was like, okay, let, you know, let's see how this pans out. Not what I was expecting either. I, of course, thought that they found the safe house that Black Widow was at. And it was like, nope, found her on the street, which I, hmm, I have to question that now because now I was, even when I saw, I got past it because they started fighting, but I was like, how did they know they were, she was going to be there? Like, they didn't turn that power off. It actually just went off and she had to go get gas. Or maybe that was a part of the plan and you're just supposed to infer that it was that way because it was weird that the guy wouldn't think to give her extra gas and he doesn't reference it later like when she's like you did leave me and the thing jumped out like 30 minutes later he doesn't say like oh, well there was gas there they don't reference any of that um so that was weird and anyway moving on the fight was good the action is good all the way through the villain was mad david harper was funny i liked his introduction and him saying like oh you think i'm lying and then he cracks the dude's arm he's like oh and he like makes fun of him um he breaks out of the prison and so he's like okay time to f these dudes up because he hates them so he just reaches through which he's been able to do the whole time and he just punches straight through the glass rips the first dude out bashes the other dude in the head then he just leaves and i was like that was pretty funny i, I like that whole avalanche scene everything was just crazy and entertaining find out that their mom is alive so they have to go meet her they have a family dinner the villains get called but they actually end up coming up with a plan to defeat the villains and you know she's not betraying them she's actually working with them i was like okay this is cool and they have emotional moments where um red guardian admits like i actually did care like it turns out everyone cared like they all pretended not to but it turns out every single one of them was like i did enjoy that it was a family it's the only time i've ever had a real family and i was like oh that's kind of cool that yeah at least by the end of the movie everyone did just admit like yeah i was i was as attached as you were i faked that i wasn't because you know it was the job at, especially at the time it was just like ah it is what it is i gotta i gotta be red guardian or whatever but it was like no he cared their mom cared then obviously they cared about each other so i was like that was actually cool i, I like the way it was handled like as it went through like they kind of made it seem like people didn't care from time to time and then of course natasha naturally just admits it at the very end to her sister like it was real to me too so i like the way that they actually handled that family element they also weren't together as much as i would have hoped um once again to go with taskmaster great scene where they're you know going through the sky and everything they totally should have had a family fight because it's for pe taskmaster is once again taskmaster is that good they totally could have been like we need all four of us to beat taskmaster because one at a time he she can copy any of our moves totally could have been the ending of that movie and it would be like that's exactly how you'd have to do it you'd have to overwhelm taskmaster because you can't do one-on-one -on -one fights unless you're deadpool so missed opportunity especially when it got to the end like there literally wasn't any like when they were in the sky i was like okay i could see that 
not really working where it's like, yeah, Black Widow can get a couple punches in because they're just falling. They're not on the ground where Taskmaster can be like, all right, let me swap to Captain. Let me swap to Black Panther. Let me switch around. Like, we're just falling through the sky. All I can really do is punch and kick. I can't, like, jump off of this and that. Um, but the end fight, when they actually got to the ground, Black Widow, she did her classic moves. It was just like, I won. I'm like, how? How did you win? How, Sway? How does it work? Um, but I still enjoyed it. The Black Widow, the All Black Widows fight was great. I that was probably, that was my favorite fight. I really loved that one. So that was great. But ending fight could have done a little more. Taskmaster needed a little more. Even with Red Guardian, they were cutting back and forth. Not as much. I basically felt like the fight from the actual movie was twice as long as it was from the trailer, and that was probably three seconds. I swear, it felt like we didn't see them fight at all. That's how short it felt. Like when they kept cutting back and forth, I'm like, I feel like we didn't even see them actually fight. It was so little. But all in all, the movie was good. We had the post credit sequence, which we would have got, you know, a while ago. But Valentina, who was, of course, supposed to show up in this before we ever saw her in uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. We got to see her in this. Turns out that, of course, Yelena is working for her. So the whole Dark Avengers thing is picking up. And I was like, OK, that's pretty cool. So I like the way they did it. I don't know. The explanation was dumb. It was like, this is who killed your sister. How the F is she going to believe that? They didn't. They She's not going to be like, you killed my sister. And he's going to be like. Oh, no, see, we were on this planet, and I was trying to kill myself, and she killed herself first. The five-minute conversation that they could possibly have about that, like, it doesn't even make sense. It's her sister. All the Avengers would be like, this is what happened. Fight over, like, there shouldn't even be a first fight. Like, she would know the, she, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see it in Hawkeye later. But I was like, that just doesn't work in so many ways. Once again, how, how? But I enjoyed the movie. Definitely would love to see it again. I uh, probably won't pay to see it again. I'll probably just wait till it is free because I think it only takes another 30 days. But super sweet movie. Love the action. I like the story. I actually like the comedy of it. Um, I was going to say, I'm excited to see where they go next. But next is She Died and we'll see in Hawkeye. Um, would love to know your thoughts on this. <laughs> uh, good, bad, everything you guys are thinking. I actually, it makes it suck even more because I'm like, after seeing this, I'm like, she really could have had her own spy series or you know her and captain america really should have had like an, a legit team up movie that totally could have worked even like after all the shield stuff the two of them just working together they're i mean i think we all said it but i was like i really wanted this movie to be in between infinity war and endgame because i wanted to see them make stories within those two those two movies within the five years i think everybody wants that like they could make those movies now and it would be fine they couldn't do it with Captain America or probably Black Widow or Iron Man or some of the other big people, but they could do it with somebody for sure. So it is what it is. We'll let us know what you guys thought about this movie. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.